Good day everyone, I hope you are doing well wherever you are. So today I am going to give you a tour here in our small backyard garden. It's the end of June and there's so many things that is happening right now here in the backyard. We have a lot of flowers that are growing and blooming and lots of vegetables and some of them are ready to be harvested. So in here we have the um, strawberries and as you can see there's so many berries that need to be harvested. I did my first harvest already and after that everything is ripening. And that's the blueberries in here. And this is the perennial flowers in here. We have the daylily and the shasta daisy right here that soon are ready to open up the peonies are finished um, blooming already and we have the rose campion we have the autumn joy in here hiding a little bit and then the um, black eyed susan that soon it's going to go up all the way until here and it will cover the um, water fountain the side of it and the clematis are doing well we have some bloom in there on the top and this is another type of clematis right here and we have our water fountain that's making a really good sound and another clematis right here oh I mean sorry this is a gillily and we have the Leatris uh, that's soon I'm ready to bloom as well and this is my clematis um, it's very windy here so I don't know what happened there but let's fix it a little bit first I'll come back to it later and tie it down. The um, hydrangea are all ready to, to bloom. Look at all the hydrangeas right here. This is Annabelle hydrangea. And in here we have the Western and Rose. And it's still blooming. It's been blooming for um, a week or two now and it's continued to bloom this is the petunia that i planted in a small pot this is only one plant but look at that it grows so well and then i just place a creeping jenny under it and then this is this um the allison this is smells so good let's mm, smells so good and then in here in this corner we have the petunia with the creeping jenny on the side and in this one right here we have the <coughs> sorry the creeping jenny and then i place the petunia and then in the middle we have the um the lily the calla lily And down right here we have the um, the rose. It's called New Down, and it's growing well. This is only a few months in here, and it's growing nicely. And then in this small area right here, I have planted snapdragons and seniors, and soon they're going to bloom nicely as well. So, oh, this is a um, cascade. Um, the it, it has a um, double. Um, I forgot the name of it, but yeah, it is a cascade. I just don't remember the full name of it, but it's so pretty. And there's another one right here. And I have planted creeping jenny as well. As you notice, um, I have a lot of gripping Jenny as I really like the color of it. It's just make everything light up. So I just place them everywhere. <laughs> oh, in here I have the uh, 
topaz jiwa rose i just planted it recently i am going to replant it soon um right now i don't have a place everything is growing nicely and i don't want to dig anything out so it will stay there until fall and i will transplant it if we just um, walk a little bit in here so this is my quiet corner and it's nice to sit there in the afternoon or during the days and just enjoy the garden so now in this corner right here I have uh, planted a wildflower these are all wildflower and I just want to see how it goes so so far there is some flower already some blooms um, I'm not sure what the name of it but um, for sure this one right here is the Allison and the rest um, I'm not really familiar with their names and there's a little basket that I made I placed Creeping Jenny in there and then the Allison and they look nice over here we have the strawberries and look down there so many berries i have to harvest them pretty soon um it's very ripe and ready and another um blueberries that we have right here so over here we have the raspberries you see that that's all the raspberries there's so many raspberries right here and some of them are turning red already look at that but i have to net it um pretty soon as well because all the birds will come and just demolish them <laughs> so i will do that pretty soon and this is another pot that i have right here with creeping jenny and then the kala lily in here and then we have the bird bird's house right there and then the um, moon rock hydrangea that I just planted a few days ago we have the liatris right here some shasta daisy in there and my beautiful westerland rose so pretty okay so let's take a look at the other side of the garden so now in this side as you can see these are all the berries that we have and as you can see there's so many berries that need to be harvested as well look at that um, on the top um, I have um, the um onion chives um soon i think um they are oh it's seeding already there's some seeds already in here i have to cut it down so that it will grow back again anyways in here i have planted um snapdragons and then petunia as well so um soon maybe in two weeks um i will get some blooms and then i have accidentally placed a tomato in here and it's so big now and i don't want to pull it so i'm just gonna leave it right there so in this side of the house right here okay um we have the calendula and then i have placed another calendula in this side oh let's talk about this corner first i'm in this side here so in here i have the dahlia and then we have the hydrangea and then another dahlia in here some liatris then we have the shasta daisy and another hydrangea then we have the clamaris that will fill this um trellis in here then we have the um basket of the strap snapdragons that i grow from seeds and then all the vegetables here in this side of the pathway so in here as you see we have the um the kale and then the tomatoes 
and then I have placed some um, alisum as well it just bring a really good smell in the garden so I have placed them everywhere so we have a um, few varieties of tomatoes in here and some beans and then the um, um, scarlet runner beans that is going to go grow all the way to the top of this trailer as well all the way to the top and then on the other side I did the same um, thing I planted scarlet runner beans and it will occupy this whole trailer I am in arbor so now on the bottom side I have placed a calendula and then we have some tomatoes in here too that's growing nicely so all the calendulas tomatoes beans the alisomes and um, kale they are all planted from seeds and then here we have the geranium some snapdragons right here grow, grown from seeds and this is the petunias um, snapdragons um, more snapdragons in here i will uh, place them in the garden pretty soon when they bloom and this is the dianthus that i'm going to plant in the garden pretty soon um, right here we have the zucchini oh my goodness the bug oh there's few bugs right there i'm going to come back and have to get them out there anyways the alisum is over here and then we have the clematis um i don't know what to do with my clematis i've been doing so many things about it but it still looks sick it's yellowing and sometimes they they just keep dying i don't know and then they will grow back again um i don't know what to do with it if you have any suggestion what to do with the clematis you can message me and then here we have the um swiss chard there's and we have the three different colors of swiss chard right there and then on the back of it i have planted tomatoes as well and then add some in the in the front so they look really nice in there so they're all grown from seeds as well so now let's take a walk to the small backyard garden here so this is where i planted most of my um plants from seeds well actually yes all of them so in here we have the tomatoes and we have the turnips in here and then we do have the um what is this um, turnips yep turnips and beets yes the beets is right there um we have the um, snow peas we've been eating this and it's really really delicious and then we have all the um, cucumber that's soon going to grow and climb on this trailer and then we have the beans the beans are doing well it's climbing all the way to the top already and in here we've been harvesting the lettuce so not much left but they continue to grow um, I have so many types of um, kale actually so we have three types of kale right there so we have the um, curled kale lacinato kale and then the red russian kale in here and on this side we have three types of tomatoes that's going to climb on this trellis and then i have placed some carrots right here and some clandula to just yeah, give some flowers in here this is a volunteer maybe um, a squash i think because the leaves are really huge so yeah maybe a squash so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to train it to the trellis to grow all the way to the top because there's no space in here this area is not that big so it is going to um, uh, crawl I mean on the trellis and as you can see in here um, this is just the soap soapy water and it helps collect all the um, bugs or mosquitoes and um, squash bugs and other buds um, insects 
in the garden so as you can see there's so many in there already so i just place in there and yeah it collecting all this stuff that i don't want in the garden <laughs> that am damaging all the the plants so let's go over here i have the strawberries right here and then the tomatoes um the clematis are doing so nice in here so beautiful so many blooms right there as you can see and then we have the onions on that pots right there and in here i have three types of tomatoes or maybe two um they're they're all indeterminate so they will grow all the way to the top of this trellis and then on the bottom of it i have placed some peppers and chives so in here are all the um container um um salad greens i have i just harvested my onions so there's nothing there left um we have the the kale reddish and kale the lettuce the um, curl kale and then there is a volunteer um deal on it and then we have the um this is the mixed salad green and another um lettuce but we harvest all of them and eat it and this is the lettuce as well and then the mixed green salad lamb mixed green salad right here and then we have this um peas there are so many to harvest soon in here and then the container right there with all the salad greens and herbs we have the um i think that is a coriander right here we have the coriander and then we have the parsley on the bottom and then we have the celery and then garlic chives in here and another celery in here and then we have the um i i remember um sorry it's the deal all right so now we have to go and take a look at the garden so this is my experiment experiment bean what i did is i placed all the leaves on the bottom of this bean and then planted a um, whole bunch of um, kale so there's three types of kale in here we have the lacinato kale and we have the red russian kale and they're doing great and then we have the curled kale and boy they look really nice and we have some mint right here they are um, volunteer mint and they're just growing in there and i'm glad they're there because sometimes i use them on my tea or on my juice as well so let's take a look on this side here so this is how the small backyard garden look like right now and um, looking forward for the harvest um, uh, especially um, with the berries all the berries are i think give it a week maybe they will be ready to be harvested but the strawberries they're just going crazy <laughs> so i'm going to harvest them after this um, <laughs> tour so uh, anyways that's all for the day um i really appreciate you being with me here in my channel and um i'll see you on the next one all right bye for now